Hello to all my DDCM fans, and welcome to episode number 9 of our very own Uncut Raw Let's Play series, where the gameplay is bad and the jokes don't matter. Thank you for joining us on this tragic adventure once again. So, uh, as you can tell from my inventory, uh, we've been playing around in the zombie spawner, getting experience. Um, if you had a chance to watch the recordings of the live streams, um, you see that we, we got a little bit done here and there. Um, also, uh, I'm hoping to do some more live streams soon. Um, so thank you for those that actually watched it. That was pretty awesome. Um, and yeah. So before I dive into anything and do anything cool or fun or kill some zombies, um, I just wanted to give my, you know, my normal shout shout out, you know, to everybody that's liked and commented so far. It's really been motivating and even though I only get a couple likes per video um, it makes you really happy uh, actually <laughs> I had a co-worker come up today um, and you know somebody I'd worked with for a couple years and he was like well I'm just happy I ran into you and you know I just want to you know say thank you for the the Minecraft streams you know they've been fun to watch um, and it was totally unexpected I did not even know he was, you know, watching these videos, so, yeah, <laughs> so, thank you, <laughs> you know who you are, and you're gonna probably watch this one, so thank you, um, and I will see you at work, probably in the next few weeks or so, <clears throat> um, and on to sk the skunk, the skunky one, um, if you haven't been following him, I would highly do so, he has been running up the ranks in YouTube streamers, streaming ARK and uh, some of the Public Underground, a little bit of Rocket League, and it's all really good fun. It's good family fun. Uh, I know my daughter likes watching him too. Um, you know, all around just great guy, great guy. Um, I've been talking to him back and forth, um, planning a little design for his, uh, his computer, and hopefully, you know, in the near future. We'll get him a, a case mod and do it up right so he has a really fantastic looking computer um, to match his YouTube personality. So we'll see how that goes. Also, uh, he just recently started a Facebook page, so if you haven't found it, uh, I will link it in this video. And I will actually, I'm going to make a note real quick. <coughs> Link to Skunk's Facebook page in description. Why? Because I promise you guys something and I don't want to forget it. So if I do forget it, dislike the, dislike the video and say, Ah, you're horrible. You lied to us. Fix it. And I will. I promise. Um, so yeah. Now that I'm done, you know, with all that spiel and, you know, the stuff that you guys don't care about, really. <laughs> well, we'll move on to the actual gameplay. So, I'm here in the zombie spawner, and I like to just kind of, over the past few days, I've just, you know, sat in here, and then I'll, you know, when I come up to the bedroom where the computer is, I'll pop on, kill some zombies real quick, and then, you know, minimize it again so the wife can use the computer and get all her bookkeeping and all the fun stuff that she does to keep our household in check. Um, yeah, Mrs. Dragon. I wouldn't. I don't know what I'd do with, without Mrs. Dragon. Um, she keeps everything running smoothly. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. So thank you. Uh, biggest thank you to Mrs. Dragon. Um, so yeah, um, also, I have decided that my fan subs, uh, especially here on the YouTube um, I finally figured out a name for you guys, and I, I think it's going to be Dragonites. Um, obviously, you know, playing off our double dragon's name, and uh, usually adding, you know, the I-T-E-S at the end is going to, usually refers to, you know, uh, a smaller version of the original. So, <laughs> we are, uh my fans are going to be little dragons, basically. 
Um, so all to all my little dragons, my dragonites, uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. And yeah, uh, but yes. Yeah, so I got distracted again. I'm here in the zombie spawner, and I, I sit in here and I let the zombies build up. And every time I come in here to kill zombies, this is usually what it looks like. Um, and there's quite a few. <laughs> and oh, so yeah, uh, I did some enchanting. Um, I wanted to show the sword. Sharpness 4, Fire Aspect 2, Sweeping Edge 3, and Unbreaking 3. This thing is the Master Zombie Spawner Killer Sword. This thing is amazing. Uh, it just wipes through these guys in just a couple hits. Um, and there's quite a few of them. And I've been doing it for a couple days now, getting experience enchanting, getting experience enchanting, and I've, I've barely touched the durability of this thing. So, I love it. I um, also enchanted the helmet. I got Blast Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. I'm still waiting for the chest, uh, chest plate because I want a good protection, you know, protection 4, protection 5 on that. So, I'm looking for that. Um, I got protect projectile protection on the legs 3. Um, I got to add Unbreaking and s maybe some other things, uh, fire protection or something like that. And I got Protection 3 on the boots, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 3, and Depth Strider 1. Um, so those are pretty decent boots. Uh, we'll hang on to those. Um, yeah. As you can tell, I, I've been in here quite a bit. I got... This is nothing compared to the Rotten Flesh. Um, and speaking of Rotten Flesh, one of the things I want to do is run over to the village and hit up all the clerics and trade in all their flesh for more emeralds. I did it once today, once, and I'll show you um, the emeralds that I got back from that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, continue killing these real quick, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I did a, a zombie flesh run, I guess. <laughs> a cleric swindling rush. <clears throat> and as you might recall, um, just in, you know, a few chunks of here, there was three villages and a desert temple. Um, Yay, experience! Look at all the fuzzy and the bright colory blobs and chase me! Yay! Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, the three villages. Well, I went to the one that was the closest, um, but apparently the chunk stays loaded for that village when I'm over here, um, and I did not realize that, and so that village is now a ghost town. Um, everybody's dead. Yeah, I know. It sucks. <clears throat> We want some more zombie flesh. <laughs> Look at the amount of zombie flesh. Like, I just waxed through these guys. There's zombie flesh out the wazoo. <laughs> I just keep dropping armor and getting a stack <laughs> of zombie flesh. That is ridiculous. Can we do it again? <laughs> ah, I got pants that time. And a tunic. Ah! Yeah, there we go. More zombie flesh. Um, yeah. Oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Did you guys just see what I did? Oh, oh thank goodness. <laughs> Whew, mild heart attack there. I, um, accidentally almost threw my diamond sword and I thought one of the zombies picked it up. But I'm good. Um, so yeah, we'll get out of here real quick. So, run over to the base. Is it starting to become nighttime? It is. Um, so we'll sleep, we'll make it daytime right before we run over to the village. Just so we have the full time. Um, I didn't really pay attention to what time we started this video. Uh, so it might be a little bit longer than 15 minutes. Um, depending on how winded I am. Uh, <laughs> and how much I talk. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to at least get that. But yeah, we got zombie flesh for days. Uh, I'm not afraid of running out of zombie flesh anytime soon. So yeah, uh, we'll throw these couple in here. Anybody want some armor? Enchanted armor? Got chainmail, leather, <laughs> gold. <sighs> Why don't they have iron armor? Because that would be amazing. Uh, see, that would be good. the good stuff. And of course they don't want to. Uh, we'll just throw the seeds and stuff in there. The carrots in there. Got a lot of carrots. We got some potatoes too. Um, and our farm is coming out fairly well too, if you look. Um, that last one over there is carrots and potatoes. And a little bit of wheat at the end. Um, I usually go for it. Harvest the wheat and then go feed it to the cows. 
Um, so I need to go kill some cows here soon. And just constantly doing sugar cane. I've gotten so much sugar cane, I just don't even know what to do with it at this point. Okay, my guy doesn't, you know, want to run, I guess. There we go. <sighs> I need to get a better keyboard. I'm rocking an HP little, like, smart card reader keyboard. <laughs> um, but yeah, check it out. 48 emeralds. That was one from one inventory worth of uh, zombie flesh. And going to trade them. Um, 48. I, well, I think it was 47, because I think I had one emerald on me already. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good load. Um, also, we got an anvil. Um, it's already started to crack because I've combined things, you know, to do some of my armor and uh, my bow. Oh, my bow. I'm breaking three power five flame and punch two. So if I could just combine this with an infinity bow, that would be a pretty rocking bow. Um, <laughs> I got iron pickaxes. I have, you know, my fortune one is upstairs. Um, I'm breaking in efficiency. Um, so yeah, I got a couple books, some sharpness books, my power. <clears throat> but the first thing I want to check is chest plate. And uh, where did I put those? I had some bows that I was going to enchant um, to see what I got. And I don't know where they went. I had three of them. I bet they're up the top. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, speaking of Mrs. Dragon, she's home, um, so I'm going to cut this here, um, and I will come back when I'm at the village later on and continue the recording and see what you got. Oh, Projection 3. That is awesome. That's what I want. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to do this real quick. <sighs> Where I have to go help her. Ugh, I only got Projection 3. I might enchant a couple. Go ahead and make a couple chest plates and see what I get. Um, but yeah, I'll come back, uh, when I guys come back, I'll be at the village, and we'll trade in some flesh to get some, uh, emeralds. So yeah, thanks for tuning in right far, and we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so, uh, quickly I had to show you guys this. Um, earlier I was complaining about <laughs> not getting iron armor from zombies, and then just a little bit later than that... <laughs> they dropped some diamond boots. So yeah, I, I just wanted to share that with you guys, that I actually got some diamond boots off my zombie supplier. So awesome. Maybe I'll get a full set of diamond here soon. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm not at the village yet to turn in these rotten flesh, uh, but I will come back when I am. So here we are, we made it to the village, and as you can see, I only have a little bit of zombie flesh on me, because I was bringing all the stone, because I was going to wall in the villagers. So they don't become a tragic accident like uh, <laughs> uh, the other ones did. Um, but yeah, uh, looks like I'm not going to be able to save them. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, trades can get so annoying. <clears throat> Exchange all these real quick. <clears throat> I don't know why I just did that. Oh. So he's done. So one thing I like about this village, um, there's like four clerics. So you can just bring a huge old stack of zombie flesh. And just, you know, trade them to your heart's content. content. <clears throat> and when he's done trading with you, you just turn to a different cleric and just keep getting emeralds. <laughs> but yeah, my plan is to basically um, build a wall around this village. And. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. I'm like too short from doing that guy. <clears throat> but I guess before I run back, I'm going to start building this wall, I guess. Um, how do I want to do this? 
Um, I guess maybe before it gets too dark, we're, we're about noon. Um, I'm just going to spam torches around this village. Let's do it running so it doesn't take as long. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna spam torches. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode. Um, I, I figured out what I want to do with all the <laughs> the mine tracks, railroad tracks, rails, whatever you want to call them, um, that I picked up in the mines, and that is to um, let's get some funny noises outside. Um, but yeah, uh, the rails. Uh, I want to take them, and I want to make uh, a, a track that goes from basically my house over there to over here. Um, and that way, you know, just because when it comes time to you know turn in flesh for my spawner and stuff, you know, it's a lot easier. We don't have to take half a day to run. Spam all the torches. Okay, they can't spawn on the roof up there. I love my feather falling boots. Which, earlier you saw that I had diamond boots. Well, I enchanted them and stuff, and I got pretty good. Um, but I don't have feather falling on them, so I'm not wearing them just yet. That's the reason for that one. Um, let's go over here. Spam some torches. More torches. <laughs> just want to kind of light it up as much as possible. And then work on. <laughs> you know, since I'm American, I'm going to build the wall. Uh, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> Sorry, bad political humor. I will never do that again. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Uh, we're a little bit. We got a little bit. So we'll just start here. And I guess <laughs> I brought iron doors. Um, so I can prevent them from getting messed up, I guess. <sighs> uh, water bucket, go away. Mm, okay. So let's do this. Um, I want to keep it as tight as possible to conserve. Uh, so we'll do like two away, and we'll just go around. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. I think I already said that before. Um, yeah. Welcome to uh, my horrible stream. <laughs> and when I come back on the next episode, we will continue building this wall. <laughs> I cannot build. Yeah, and from then we'll, we'll see how things go. And we'll continue this wall, and we'll, we'll build a wall, protect the villagers, and protect them from harm. And I'm gonna do as much as I can before I have to run back. Um, I need to. I turned up the the chunk so I can remember how to get here. Um, but I don't want them still to be rendered when I run back to my house to get more zombie flesh and my bed. And that's why, you know, I'm not <laughs> finishing this right now, because uh, I wanted my bed, so right there when it gets dark, um, what direction? I need to go this way. I need to run quickly. Oh, come on. But yeah, um, that'll be it. Uh, wait for the next episode. Um, it'll come out uh, the following Friday from this one. Uh, yeah! Uh, thanks for everybody that's liked and subscribed so far. Um, really appreciate it. It definitely helps me out. Um, keeps me motivated. So thank you again. And until next time, uh, this 
has been DDCM Let's Play, uh, and uh, have a nice day.